My name is um, it's Farida, CEO of House of Frida Body Care and Spa. House of Frida Body Care and Spa, we do a whole lot of things. A whole, it's a brand that every, I guess, <laughs> it's a brand that's popular that everybody is we're into spa. We have salon, we have um, cosmetics, um, you know. We, we're into a whole lot of things that we do. Body care, body treatments, face treatments. We're guru in face treatments. We're guru in body treatments. Yeah. We have maybe one of these days when you come, you understand what I'm trying to say. Because honestly, I don't know even how I'm even getting all these clients. I don't even know how to market. <laughs> we met somewhere in my spa. And we became friends. Like four years. What is wrong between two of us before we got separated? Okay, basically we are not compatible. The positive thing they should do is just to separate and go their own ways and become great friends. So that's it. But when you patch in relationship, that's when the relationship becomes violent and all that because both of you are not compatible. So that's my own perception about being married and having a relationship that is not working, my advice to all the women out there is just to walk, walk away. Are you a party? Yeah. We have um, one adopted kid. Maybe. Relationship with ex-husband, ex husband shouldn't bother him because they've got two kids together and I'm like a stepmom to the kids, so it shouldn't bother him. He never complained about my relationship, but, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, it doesn't even show the way he feels about me and Fuluke Damola being friends and all that. But he's just quiet about it. I know a whole lot of things that she told me. I've heard his own side of the story and I've heard Fuluke Damola's side. So, like I said, when two people are together and something is not working, I mean, you have the right to just walk away from, that's my own, you know, thoughts about the whole thing. You know, it might, it might work for someone else. My, maybe if you're now remarried, it might work. And that's happiness thereafter. I'm happy for him. If you got someone that he really likes, you know. So, that's it. I don't want to talk about it. Yeah. Because we are still great friends. So, I don't want to talk about it. It's personal. Honestly, we talk. We talk, we share so many things and, you know. We have the same story with the relationship and, you know. You know, sometimes these men, they just want to get married to you, you know, mold you to be the kind of person they want, you know. They don't know that you are from a different background and they are from a different background. It's just to manage each other. You know, when a man really wants to mold you to, like, okay, like you are married to a man that does not go to parties, that does not, that does not socialize, that does not, are you? You go to party, you love partying and you don't, you know, there's going to be a great problem. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah, so that's just, I've given you a clue of, you know, what it is like. We are not compatible. My lifestyle is quite different from my ex husband's lifestyle. The way he sees life is quite different from the way I see. You, you understand? And the way he thinks is quite different from. So there will be issues and, and disagreements and, and all that. And when you see you and someone, you are not compatible, just leave. But you know Nigerian mentality, they don't like living like the white people that when there's no love, love with it, they live. But these ones, they want to die there. So that's it. Women are no longer patient in marriage because most of the women out there are independent. When you are independent, honestly, <laughs> you feel you're making money and you feel you're supporting your family and you feel you're doing a lot all you needed from your spouse is love peace of mind and care so when you're not getting that care you're not getting that peace of mind you're not getting what you want honestly as an independent person that you can pay your your bills you can run your bills you can take care of yourself you can do you walk away those women you see staying in that marriage, they don't have what they are doing. They're not working. They don't have money to even go and rent a place. Oh, I want to leave my husband. Those are the women that they die every day. You hear that oh, <laughs> she's dead. So 
So I, I just advise all the women out there that should get something doing. You understand? Because of, you know, future. Because most of all this, you see all this, all this old women out there, yeah, oh, she used to be Aulawa's wife, she used to be Abiola's wife, she used to be, it's just because when she was married to that Abiola, she, she doesn't do anything, she doesn't work. I probably where Abiola will not leave you or, you know, maybe someone will not die, you know, and become, I don't know, nobody is out there to help you. They still like liability and all that. Oh, because she's wicked, you know. Yeah, <laughs> because she was wicked. She's, she wants me to stay somewhere that she walks away. And even when I was in the relationship, I kept telling her that I needed to walk away, that we, I don't think I'm good enough for my ex. I don't think I'm the kind of person he really wants in his life. I don't think everything he, he wants, I don't have it. So I had to leave. She begged me not to leave. She actually begged me that she wants me to be her kid's stepmom and all that. <laughs> That's our own selfish interest anyway. <laughs> Me, I'm still friends with my ex-husband, but they are not talking. I don't know what the problem is. <laughs> we are very close. Actually, it was even the kids that brought me and their mom together. Yeah, our kids. They actually saw me from Instagram. So, yeah. But my ex-husband didn't know about this because I used to communicate with them, you know, on Instagram, you know. As our ex-husband's wife, you know, I used to communicate with the kids and all that. So from there, we became close. Actually, it was through the kids that me and their mom became very, very close. Because I see the kids like my husband's kids, you understand? So that's it. <laughs> oh, I walked out of that marriage three years ago. Three years ago. I'm a sucker for love. I'm a sucker for love. I don't want to get married. I just want to be Yandagbe, you know. Stay in my house and enjoy my life with my kids and I do I beg no love in this land Nigeria. It's nothing like this. I don't see anything like love. You know, all everybody's just all about their selfish interests and all that. So I'm just done. I can date now. You date someone, must you love someone before you date someone? You can date. Ah, I mean, <laughs> no, please. I can date a younger person, but I can't get married to a younger person because their thinking is far, far, far low. The way they think, you know, I'm a matured person. The way I think is not going to be like the way I'm, I'm 46. Why would I date? Why would I be with a younger person? I'd rather be with my age, maybe someone of maybe 55 or 60. You know, that's perfect age. And you finding someone of 55, 60, they want to be with a 22 years old. Because actually, you actually look like their wife at home. So they don't want to be with you. So I don't have time to waste with anybody. I just want to be. Yes, please. I can date a younger. You can, are we not, that's called friendship. It's friendship. That's called friendship. You can be. You, date a younger person. That's, it doesn't really matter. This is part of the world that they look at it like it's a big deal. Where I, I, I used to live, because I used to live in London, it's no big deal you dating a younger person. It's no big deal. You can date, but let me tell you, that's the problem with Nigeria. You getting married is two different things. Somebody you can date, you might not get married to the person, because marriage is a lifetime commitment. You understand? But they get it mixed up. So that's why there's a whole lot of divorce going on. Honestly, with my job, ah, there's something so amazing. Honestly, with my job, because in Sule, I have like three different spas, at which I visit and I talk to people because I used to be an image consultant. I used to be um, a sex coach. So I've spoken to a whole lot of couples, a whole lot of men, and a whole lot of women and all that. The truth, let me bring it down for you. There's love. Your men that they are loyal to their wives. Could you believe there are still men that don't cheat on their wives? There are still men that they are loyal and there's, there, there's what they call love. Because I see love in my spa. I see husband and wives coming for spa section. I see men that they are dedicated, they come to me. Farida, what can you do for my wife? Oh, she's aging. I don't want her to age. She has um, wrinkles. What can you do for her? And sometimes I just chip in. Oh, 
why is your girlfriends no no they will tell me they don't have girlfriend that it's all about their wife and all that so there's still men that they are still good men the advice to them is just appreciate what you have why you still have it not when it's gone then you know you've lost something <laughs>